Seems very, very unlikely you're going to want to go back to being stupid again. I mean, you, you literally could fundamentally change the way human yeah. beings interface with each other. Yes. Yes. You wouldn't need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared of that, but so excited about it at the same time. Is that weird? Yeah. I mean, the, the I think this is one of the paths to, you, you know, like think like what, what are the... What, what, like AI is getting better and better. Um, so now let's assume it's sort of like a, a benign AI scenario. Uh, e even in a benign scenario, we're kind of left behind. You know, we're we're, we're not we're not along for the ride. Um, we're just too dumb. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so so how do you go along for the ride? Um, yeah, it's like you can't beat them, join them. So. <laughs> Um, and we're, we're already we're already a cyborg to some degree, right? Because you've got your phone, you've got your laptop, glasses. Your, yeah, yeah, your yeah, you know, sure. electronic devices. Yeah. Um, and um, I mean, we're, today, if you your, your phone, if you if you don't bring your phone along, it's like you have missing limb syndrome. It's like you know, feels like something's really really missing. So we're already partly um, part you know partly a cyborg. Um, or an AI symbiote, essentially. It's just that the data rate to the electronics is slow. So, especially output, like you're just going with your thumbs. I mean, like, what, what's your data rate? Maybe optimistically, 100 bits per second. That's being generous. And, and now the computer can, can communicate at like, you know, 100, 100 terabits. Gig gigabits are trivial at this point. So, this, this is like, you know, basically your, com your computer could do, a, a mil do things a million times faster. Or, or you, you, at a certain point, it's like talk. They ask like talking to a tree. Okay, this is boring. <laughs> you talk to a tree. 